Greetings, fellow humans. Bad Mark here with another transmission from Mech Tech Keyboards. And just a quick one. I'm, I've been editing most of the day, and I'm just taking a break. I just wanted to do a, a quick video. I actually came across, um, I was doing some research for a video that I'm doing, and I came across one of my older videos for this Franken switch that I, well, created. I put together some pieces. Um, I Lego together this this Franken switch, which I called Panda Fish, which is made from an Otemu stem and the spring and the housing from an Ako starfish. And I felt that it really had a, or has a very distinct, almost unique sound among switches. It has this um like a bubble pop. I don't I don't really know how to describe it, but when I made the video, I accidentally didn't turn the volume for my video camera off because I usually record from two sources and it sounds really weird because they're only like 200 milliseconds off. One is much lower, so it sounds like two people are typing and someone's in the other room. So it sounded very weird and I was like, I gotta, I gotta make that sound test again because I remember after I created that switch, I used this as my daily for probably a couple of weeks, a little while, but then some keyboards came in and I wanted to test them. So I remembered how much I enjoyed this keyboard because not only did I enjoy the switch, the poppiness of it. Now the keyboard is a CIY Tester 84. It's the first revision. They have newer ones out now. Um, and the only thing I did to this is the tape mod, the uh, PE foam mod, and I tightened up the stabilizers as well as applied plumber's tape to them. So other than that, I uh, I put on these switches, and I was <clears throat> I think when I first built it, I built it with some um, black inks, and it was all right. I mean, I it wasn't. I mean, there was nothing I disliked about it, but it wasn't there wasn't anything that stood out to me. I mean, obviously the the keyboard's a well built keyboard. I liked it, but it was just meh. But obviously, switches can make a difference in as far as how much you enjoy it. The poppiness with this one. Like I said, I can't quite put my finger on how to describe it, except for kind of like a a bubble pop, or a bubble, I don't know, a volume, volumeless bubble, if that makes any sense. I, I really, it's hard for me to describe it. Anyway, um, I wanted to do a proper sound test uh, and actually remove the <laughs> remove the extra audio track that just made it sound weird. Um, I was almost a little ghostly. So um, before I get back to some more editing, I got <clears throat> I do have about seven videos of the pipe. Uh, I'll be editing those out and parting them out over the next week, and then I'll get back to um, I've got the series that I'm working on, and then I do have one planned, hopefully this week, that I'll film where I have three CIY Gas 67s, and I'm going to do each one in a particular way, um, mod them each separately so that one is as thocky as possible, one is as clacky as possible, and one is as silent as possible because that's definitely the three most requested um, sound profiles that people ask for when they're building a keyboard. Thocky obviously being the biggest one, but there's a lot of uh, a lot of requests for. I would say probably it's thocky first, silent second, and clacky third but there's a lot of people that do ask for these, so I want to do with the same keyboard model at, at the same time, so it can actually do side-by-side -side sound test and see what how the materials make a difference, anything from thocky to silent. So anyway, I'm gonna leave you guys with the, just a quick sound test. This is the Panda Fish and the CIY Tester 84. Um, I don't know, I enjoy making, making switches. It's uh, kind of like Legos to me, it just extends um, my love for keyboards uh, that much more so hopefully you guys will enjoy it as well and until the next transmission keep calm and keyboard on